Hello, everybody. Mr. 901 Tommy Jackson, official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. We've been live on stream today going through the brand new Rapscallion event. We've unlocked him. A lot of the Jack's Army and chat are rolling through this event. Looks like, um, looks like our hopes uh, have been founded, and this is not like the Supersonic Hopper event. We've been rolling through this live on stream, just like we do every single time a brand new tune or event drops in Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. We go live and you can join us too. All you gotta do is go to twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. We've got a lot to talk about in the market. We're gonna go over some of the event, show you some things to point out that may help you through it. Also, at the end of the market, we're gonna do a few wheel spins, so stick around. But without further ado, let's get into the market of mayhem the doors open up on the market what do we see evil granny staring at me here we go ptl feeder team bundle we're gonna look at this first and foremost um all right now we all know that the the tunes used for this ptl are just odd okay and that being said 250 Desperado Dog, 250 Sylvester Jr., 125 Hopper, 125 Rat Scallion for 20 bucks, and you can only get it one time. Now, essentially, all this is going to kind of do, it's not even going to get you to the four stars that are required for each of these tunes to get Evil Granny, um, and you can only purchase it once. Now, the way I see this actually being viable for somebody Let's say that you're close on everybody to four stars, and all you need is that extra star to get you Evil Granny. Well, I could see it being a do-what-you-have-to sort of offer. A lot of people are going to do what they have to do because of Evil Granny. I mean, it's Villain's Day. It's Villain's Weekend. We've got the PTL for Evil Granny. We've got Rapscallion. The Villain's team is complete, so I could see a lot of people feeling like this is a do-what-you-have-to-do sort of offer. As far as from a value perspective, um, I'd kind of have to give it like a half yuck because of the 125 shards. Other thing that I don't like about it is right here, use these tunes to help activate and rank up Legendary Evil Granny. Just keep in mind, guys, that they're not going to instantly be out of the box. If you don't have any of these guys out of the box, they're not going to be at four stars even if you buy this so that's why i kind of put the little baby yuck on it and we'll move on event starter pack now usually especially because i create content and i stream i usually pick up these event starter packs in fact usually somebody in jack's army is, is nice enough to to pick them up for the show right we didn't have to this time okay this is actually a very manageable event guys uh, so, that being said, if you wanted to get a little bit ahead, then yeah, you snatch up the 100, that unlocks him. 1,200 staffs of trickery is probably about the best you're going to be able to get for the pricing associated with this. 1,500 campaign energy, you're definitely, absolutely, positively going to need that to go through. And what you're going to find yourself doing, you're going to be running through nodes really quick because it is... A little bit on the easier side of events so you may find yourself needing that energy and then six thousand cosmic stones hey it is what it is it's about six bucks in value the value is definitely there i do not think it's a must but if you're trying to save some time and get ahead a little bit and you're going to spend money anyway then it's a, another do what you have to do sort of thing all right, let's look at this activation team. All right, for 10 bucks, you can get 100 Presto, 100 Super Coyote, 150 Mr. Bugs, 150 Hector, 250K Gold, 11 loyalty tokens. Now, loyalty tokens aside, because depending on where you're at, if you're a regular spender or not, that could accrue you a few tickets. But let's just look at the tunes. I feel like the market today is filled with do what you feel like you have to offers. And Here's another example. Presto Pig and Super Coyote. If you don't have those, you could be really, really compelled to pick them up for $9.99. However, we have seen um, offers for 
similar type tunes where you get 350 pieces for the same $9.99. Well, I know they're giving you Mr. Bugs and Hector and Super Coyote, but I feel like this is kind of a, if you don't have them and all you're trying to do is unlock them, then it's do what you have to do. Otherwise, as far as from a value perspective, you're, I mean, uh, it's kind of dog water. Uh, because of Mr. Bugs and Hector, really. Um, honestly, you could have gave me uh, 350 Presto and 350 Super Coyote for 10 bucks, and, and you would have sold them like gangbusters. All right, four-star rank up. I don't think it's needed. Again, it's a do what you have to, what you feel like you have to sort of offer. But, um, you know, playing through the event, the exchange on the event's not huge, but uh, I think it's very manageable to get him to four stars before the end of the event. Uh, so let's move on. We're not going to talk about the, the epic, but we will talk about the rare because the energy is so precious for new events. Also, it happens to be Mr. Bug, so it's kind of a triple whammy right here. Not only is it the best current energy offer in the game, as far as pricing goes, but 500 Mr. Bugs will get you points towards the milestone, and he is a tune that you need to unlock Rapscallion, or Rapscallion, uh, if you will, uh, as the American Dream would say. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely, um, and with the extra value of the Mr. Bugs there, if you, for some reason, don't have him, if you're new to the game, um, then that could this could have even more value to it. Uh, so I'm actually going to give this offer right here, the Talking Tommy Show. Seal of approval. Uh, I think this is a triple fold, uh, decent deal. And it's not just for new game. It's not just for middle game. Uh, the energy is well valued here, even for late game. So you can snatch that up if you're in need. One thing I don't like too much, uh, now I don't have a problem with the mechanic itself, so to speak. I just don't really like the offers for the special energy. This is um, Hella Hats or uh, <laughs> uh, Rat Scallion Hats, because uh, we got Hella Sylvester in the game. Uh, my little nickname for him. You've got uh, five bucks for four. Each node takes one hat apiece. Uh, and honestly, guys, we rolled through the event. I mean, we steamrolled through it. So I don't think that there's a whole lot of need. And then as far as from a value perspective, you're spending a little bit more than a dollar a node. So we're going to put all three of these on the screen at the same time. Can you say it with me? Yuck. That's right. And we're going to move on. All right. So all the rest of this stuff is stuff we talk about every day as being base pricing. This kind of proves my theory about the energy offer. 140 staffs are going to give get you nothing, so don't worry about that. But um, the rest of this stuff, you know, they're going to add event tokens that are not worth it, and essentially they are the same offers anyway. So let's go to, speaking of offers, let's go to the offer tab, our daily gambling gimmick, El Matador Bugs. Um, I'm not a fan of the daily gambling gimmick. I think we all know that. Uh, 2%, throw five bucks at it. Let's see, let's hope, you know, most jackpots on wheels, guys, or 4%, unless it's a legendary. So, I mean, what are we really doing here? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a speeding locomotive? Nah, it's just that old super yuck. All right, let's move on. Uh, we're not actually even going to talk about the rest of this stuff because it's all base yuck stuff. Let's go to the event tab. Now, something that, that uh, there's a couple of things I want to point out here. Uh, Usually on these mini event token packs, the the sale amazing value packs that we get for the token offers, I usually don't recommend in snatching them up because you can always auto win. Of course, everything in offers is all a feel what you need to do sort of thing because the value is your perceived value if you need it, right? However, last few events we've been getting these and they've had 1,600 Magic MacGuffins apiece. This has only got 500. Um, yeah, we're going to put a yuck on that all day long because, I mean, uh, why? I don't know. Don't like it. And then right next to it, it gets worse. The same for more money. And, and, and essentially, these are just all base pricing. Now, before we get into the exchanges, let's hop over to the event itself. 
So you'll notice a couple of different sections here, a couple of different campaigns. Of course, we've got the path to, to Evil Granny, um, where you need the four listed tunes here at four stars. Uh, the new updated Path to Legendary Guide is in the description down below. So if you need to take a look at that to know who you need for the Path to Legendaries, feel free to grab that up. But the main campaign we're looking at um, is the Mather Manipulator. This is where you're going to unlock him. And you're going to use the uh, hat energy. And as you can see, 11k for the last battle. Um, very, very manageable, guys, to unlock him. Now, if you are to spin wheels first, like often what I will do is I'll save up golden tickets. When the event starts, I'll spin the wheel, try to hit that tune. And it kind of gives me a little, a, a little head start, if you will. Well, if you do that and you unlock him, one of the things that you would probably do is actually start uh, in the uh, rank up campaign because um, you can do as many of those as you can do and then go back and get the pieces for the unlock. So you've got the unlock, the rank up, the tune up, the token farming, uh, and of course the Inferno campaign, which uh, you know is where it gets a lot more difficult. Uh, but if you don't have the tunes required for that, again, guys, there's a way to get them. There's two separate teams right here. The unlock team right here, you can go through. Uh, it's not difficult at all. I mean, we're looking at 4K, and even if you hit a wall, you can go back, auto win. Um, and then you've got these featured epics. This is what I'm really excited about. You've got supersonic hopper pieces right here. You've got Nova Bunny pieces right here. Two people, two tunes. Uh, I, I think they're people, whatever, um, that are part of that new villains team. So uh, what I would suggest, go through, unlock him, get as many of the uh, tunes ranked up as possible that are part of that team, and uh, then roll through the world domination. Uh, the point basis for this, I don't think that necessarily, me personally, I'm not really going for milestones. My main thing was to get uh, the Rapscallion to a usable level, but let's look at the point totals. Every time you complete one of the event quests, which is a section within a chapter, uh, you get 500 points. Every time you spend 50, you get 50. Uh, collect tune pieces, the Rapscallion, 20 points and everybody else is five so keep that in mind the main deal i think for this is just to get to get him unlocked so that you can have that full team it's also a fourth piece to the evil granny ptl now let's look at the exchanges you get a very low exchange for a new tune we're used to that that's okay 14. we do have supersonic hopper 21 pieces and we've got nova bunny 54 pieces so there's three pieces of that four-person team right there, and we're going to skip past. If you don't have Presto, you've got an option there, 49. If you don't have the Flaming Succotash, 83. If you don't have Super Coyote, 47. But I do want to show you. So basically what I'm saying is unlock Rapscallion, get him where you want to. Uh, I'm focusing on the villains, but there are other options that you can focus on. One thing I do want to show you guys, though, and it happened to me. I saw this and I got super excited, super excited. 100 Rapscallion, 100 Supersonic, 100 Sylvester Jr., 100 Desperado Dog, be still my heart. You mean I'm going to get all these for 300? No, it says right here, guaranteed one of these. Uh, but I didn't see that. I just saw the pieces and got hyped. And that brought to mind that other people could do the same thing. And then 300 stabs are gone and these... The, the tokens aren't really just super easy to get a hold of in this one, uh, even though the tune is. So keep that in mind, guys. Sylvester Jr., 42.5% chance. Desperado Dog, 42.5% chance. 10% at Supersonic Hopper and the Rapscallion. Now, I think this is really cool if you need Sylvester Jr. and Desperado Dog. I will say that. Besides that, you're not going to be hitting many of the other ones. All right, let's roll on, guys, to this old wheel spin. I, I think we've got at least a couple from going through the milestones. Let's see. Yeah, we've got two. We're hoping for some jackpotty goodness right here. Oof. All right. Now, I will tell you this. If I hit a block party tune, it's a straight explosion to the face. So here we go. 
All right, not a block party. I mean, it could be better. I'm not a big fan of, of Succotash, but whatever. All right, one more. Can we, we've hit two jackpots today. Can we get a third? Can we get one right here? Or is it going to be a straight explosion to the face? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, uh, well, you know, you win some, you lose some, but that one right there, that was some old dog water. All right, guys, have you unlocked Wrath Scallion? Have you gone through the Evil Granny? Have you unlocked Evil Granny? If so, congrats. Let me know down in the chat what you think about the new villains team how you're going and doing through this campaign. While you're here, do me a favor, run in on that sub button, bang that old bell, throw a like on that thing. Remember, you can join us live five days a week for some Looney Tunes World of Mayhem at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jackson. Until next time, guys, you gots to stay loony, and we're going to catch you down the road. <laughs>